In up to a third of pregnancies, the sac of fluid that surrounds and protects the baby breaks early, before 37 weeks. It's a condition called preterm pre-labor rupture of membranes, or PPROM. If a woman has had PROM, what that means is there's going to be less water or amniotic fluid around the baby to keep the baby well. The concerns are around really how do we make sure that this pregnancy stays healthy and how do we make sure that mum remains healthy. Because the bag of water protects your baby from the bugs that are in your vagina and doing no harm to you or your baby in the vagina, once the membranes have gone, those bacteria, those bugs, can travel up around the membranes around your baby and cause problematic infection. It can cause maternal death and it can also cause stillbirth. So it's something that we really watch very, very carefully for. Carolina experienced PPROM early in her second pregnancy, at just 18 weeks. I never knew that we waters could break that early. I just sat down and I felt a little gush of fluid. I didn't know what it was. And um, you always expect that Hollywood moment, water's breaking, water's splashing all you know around you. You rush into hospital and you have a and you have a baby, but obviously that was not what was happening to me. If sometimes for some women it is the very dramatic gush of water when you're going around the supermarket but for other women it's just a little trickle. What would usually happen is you would be assessed in a maternity hospital by the team so you would see him by, be seen by an obstetrician and a midwife that would do a full test and assessment to see if actually it is the water around the baby that has gone and then they would put prescribed treatment in place for you and for the baby. For most women who break their waters, no matter how pregnant they are, they're likely to go on to deliver within the first 48 hours. Providing your baby is growing normally, there's a reasonable amount of fluid around your baby, and there's no signs of infection, then the outlook for you and your baby can be really very good. And some women will send home and we'll just manage you as an outpatient. We'll ask you to check your temperature regularly, looking for those signs of infection. For some women, like Carolina, the pregnancy can continue for a longer period after the waters have broken. She was monitored carefully for 14 weeks until the risk to her and her baby became too great. She had an emergency C-section and went on to have a healthy baby boy. I was very lucky and I had lots of support, but I believe that if you reach out to people around you, they will support you. My advice to mums would be, don't worry about raising any concerns you've got about your health with your midwife or your GP, and hopefully in the end you will have a good outcome as I have. If you think your waters may have broken at any stage of your pregnancy, it's important to contact your midwife or doctor straight away to make sure you and your baby get the right treatment and support.